Hello everyone, my name is Hang Liu, and you can also call me James for short. I'm a student at CST program at BCIT. My option is information system. So I can understand some of my classmates uh, will have some difficulties to understand the content from our instructor. So I decided to record some mini lectures, unofficial lectures, to help these classmates. The first thing is to config uh, a useful ID, a powerful ID. Uh, the reason why I choose ID uh, IntelliJ is, is because I think it's much better than the Eclipse. So I just assume that you have installed IntelliJ. And also, uh, I have unzipped the white flag here. It's in my D partition. And here is the uh, setting panel for uh, IntelliJ. Just the first thing is to click uh, build, execution, and deployment. Just expand, uh, expand it. And then here you can see the application servers. And uh, click this uh, add button and choose wide fly server. And then click this uh, directory icon and navigate to wide fly here and click OK. We should wait for a moment and then we can see the version here. And we must also uh, register all of these. But I have registered it uh, before, so I can click this button again. Then uh, we click OK. And then you can see white flag is here now. I click OK again. And then we can open a project. Here in my repository, I have cloned uh, chapter 3 project from our instructor. It's the, name, uh, it's the project for chapter 3. And you can see that here uh, is a, there is a POM file. It means this project is a Marvin project. And then we can uh, open it directly, open, and choose. Choose this uh, directory, this project, and click OK. Trust it. If it's the first time for you to open a Marvin project, it will take you a long time to download the plugins and the dependencies. Here we can see the wrong button is disabled, so we have to click here, Add Configuration, and then click the Add button and then the local. Oh, we have to wait uh, for the IntelliJ index of JDK. Let's just wait for a moment. I think it will finish in half a minute or one minute. Because I haven't, uh, I haven't indexed my JDK eleven before, so it will take me some time to do this. Okay, ready. Let's add configuration again. Here you can see local. And then we must click deployment and add our application, add our project here. Let's choose artifact here and then choose the second one. We must choose the second one. If we choose the first one, we can see nothing uh, later. So choose the exploded one and then click OK. And click server, you can see that the URL for this application is here. It's chapter 3 navigation. Then let's click OK. Then you can see the server is shown here. And here is my application. And then let's click Run. And wait. It's building now.
We still have to wait. Now it's launching the Wildfly and deploy our application onto Wildfly. Now it's deploying the application. After everything has done, uh, the Chrome browser will open just like this. Okay, you can see everything worked. And here, the URL is the same to our setting. If we want to change the URL, we can just edit our configuration. However, do not change this URL here. We should change the URL here. In deployment, click the application and click edit and you can see here there's a output directory and the output directory is the uh, URL and then uh, let's just say slab 03 and click OK and then you can click server and you can see that lab 3 is here so let's click OK and redeploy it here. We should choose redeploy. Uh, do not choose restart server because restart server is very slow. If you just click redeploy, uh, we can just uh, deploy our application to server again. It will save our time. Just wait for a moment. It's building now. Okay, uh, it's deployed, but this time it, uh, it won't uh, open Chrome again, so we have to enter the URL by ourselves. If we use the old URL, let's click refresh. We can see nothing here, but if we change the URL, lab 3, and you can see it worked. That's the content for today. Thank you.